my channel welcome back to a brand new video and today we have an autumn decorate with me which i'm so excited for autumn is my favorite season there is no hiding the fact that i love autumn so so much it is just around the corner so i feel like it's fully justified to get decorating today it's the weekend i've had the coziest of mornings we've had a nice long rainy drizzly dog walk this morning got back showered did pop out and pick up a pumpkin spice latte this is my third one and it's not even officially autumn but we're not going to talk about that because the fact that these are limited edition i'm just making the most of it so yeah i did grab myself a pumpkin spice latte make sure you're cozy and ready for this video yourselves with a nice drink snack candles lit was i feel like there's gonna be a lot of candles in this video i'm not gonna lie um if you are new to my channel just briefly i will introduce myself as freya i have recently well recently a year and a half ago now purchased our first property with my boyfriend tom and we are in the process of renovation so just to kind of set the scene for this video our upstairs has been renovated our basement has recently been renovated and we are about to extend and renovate the ground floor so in terms of decorating i feel like when it comes to autumn seasonal decorations the main space to decorate is kitchen living of which we don't really have i mean we have but it's pre-renovations so I've got a couple of touches to add in upstairs in here and in the bedroom as well and then down in the basement in our cinema room and our utility space. We do have a storage room down there as well which has all of the decorations currently laid out ready to show you guys which I will head down in just a second and share with you all of the new bits that I've got for this year and of course some of the old bits from last year. Um, but yeah, just bear that in mind for when I'm decorating our kitchen living, it is all pre-renovation, so I can't wait. This time next year, putting it out into the universe, I will be decorating our newly renovated kitchen living space, hallway, cosy living room, dining room. We've got all of that to come. I've never had a dining room, can you believe it? So to be able to have a dining room in the future where I can do like a bit of a tablescape, just cannot wait for that day to come. <laughs> so um, yeah. We've got two more sleeps till Bake Off starts. All the Harry Potters are coming to Netflix. Can you believe it? I cannot wait. Um, Hocus Pocus 2 is coming to Disney very soon. So we've got all of this seasonal exciting stuff starting to come out. So I thought it was the perfect day with it being a bit drizzly outside to just decorate for autumn. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's head on downstairs into the basement storage room where I can share with you all of my autumn goodness. Have you ever seen anything so magical in all your life? I think not. <laughs> this is my collection of basically some new in bits and some bits from last year as well like kind of a combination of the two which I thought I would just run through and talk through pretty quickly just to um, give you guys a bit of a heads up of where some new things are from but if there's anything that you um, spot in this video that you want to know where it's from just pop me a comment in the description box or message me on Instagram and I will let you know the majority of things are really TK Maxx and HomeSense I'm not gonna lie um, but we do have a selection of other things too so these um, cushions and throw is actually from if you remember I did an American haul last year from um, Target whereby I use the ship it to service to get some American goodies over to the UK this gorgeous throw which is um it's cream with the kind of like burnt orange which is definitely going to be a theme throughout this um decorate it's a style that is very much I would say kind of farmhouse neutrals playing a lot with textures as you can see the different wreaths and dried leaves so yeah i've got those from america those two are from asda as is this cushion as well actually a selection of pumpkins from a variety of places i do have a couple from primark they've got some amazing bits in the good old home bargains glass pumpkin jars along with the um, the new one from the range and the white company brand new wreath that I've just ordered little basket and coasters are from next I've got a Neptune candle which you'll see I picked up um, in a vlog which is coming in the next video so stay tuned for that 
that. We had a really nice, cozy, wholesome day yesterday. Myself, Tom and Barney went to Nutsford, we went to Neptune, went to a farm shop and just had a really good, wholesome day. Had a nice cinema movie date night. So that's all coming in a vlog very soon. Um, hair's gone up, by the way. I just feel like I can't organize, tidy or do anything like this. Decoration, anything around the house if my hair's not off my face. Loads of candles, rediffusers from HomeSense, some more pumpkin selection. We've got some La Creuset bits as well, this cute little pumpkin ramekin, and it's kind of like a tea bag caddy, I guess that is, but you can use it for whatever. It's kind of like a kitchen section here where I've got casserole dish, this soup mug, and um, this mug. These were both from last year, actually. How nice is this from Primark? Love that. It's got some new tea towels, these were, only £1.50 for a set of two from uh, B&M. Dried floral arrangement over there from last year and then I have picked up these this year which are from Dunelm. These are huckleberry plants in ochre, £4. I got three of those. And then these are £8 each and I got two of them are vine bushes which I thought would look really nice as a kind of garland if I lay them out kind of like opposite ends and maybe pop a pumpkin in the middle so that might go in the living room how nice is this this is one of those candle um stoppers or what do they call them snuffs pop it over the flame and it um puts out the flame from a candle this is from anthropology i've just turned around and spotted this which totally forgot to get this out because it doesn't doesn't fit in my autumn boxes my storage boxes so i just popped it there Massive pumpkin from TK Maxx. I did also, when I went to um, Starbucks to get myself a pumpkin spice latte, they've now got their autumn merch out. They've got these reusable cups at £2.50, so I picked up one of those. And then they've got the new, um, a new autumn blend of coffee. So I think I'm gonna have one of these tomorrow. Kind of avoiding the caffeinated drinks at the minute, but couldn't resist these coffee beans and Tom loves a filter coffee so I thought I would pick this up anyway. It's got notes of candied pecan and sage. Sounds delicious. And then I did also pick up this gingerbread biscuit. I thought this could go in the cinema room. I want to do a bit of a snack station in there with some yummy snacks, seasonal snacks. So I also picked up whilst I was out these Reese's dipped pretzels and some popcorn. This is the one that TK Maxx do. It's the Thatcher's popcorn, caramel corn. That is all of the bits that I wanted to share with you. Now let's kind of categorize them room by room, but I feel like we're going to start this process and just follow it room by room. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get one room finished, move on to the next. That's the plan anyway. Foresee the fall 
So I think I am done with the utility room. Just very understated, minimal. I've moved a few things around, taken a few things away, which I will put back out once the season has finished. So this is my final look. Let me know what you guys think of the utility room. Starting over on the left, we've got a couple of home sense finds. I've got my um, plaid checked kind of patterned uh, tea towel there. Soap, and this is a tumbler, so I guess this is designed for a bathroom, for um, like hand soap, maybe your toothbrush and stuff. But I think I'm gonna pop a couple of like utensils in it, like a little cleaning brush or something. But let me know any suggestions of what would be useful to have in a utility room. Just moved those glass canisters over there and just switched out the dried eucalyptus for just something a bit warmer. And then for shelf styling above the sink, I've got my new white company wreath, a couple of mini little pumpkins. And then again, I've just kept the laundry detergent and fabric conditioner and everything up there. I do actually use them quite regularly. It's just really handy. I've just refilled them. In fact, that fabric conditioner needs a top up, but the other two are full. So um, yeah, I, I use them all the time. So they're quite handy to have out. And I just think they, they look quite nice. The amber glass warms it up as well. I've not changed the dog wash station just because obviously, as you can imagine, using this all the time with a mucky pup in autumn, I just need it fairly empty to be honest with you. So I've just got this little wooden stool um, and a boot brush on there. This is quite a bare wall. So I was thinking about putting something up there, like whether the wreath up there on that wall or something, but I actually think I'm gonna get some artwork or some photos. I might do the little square photo framed aperture frame from White Company or maybe the Wilco's one actually, because it's a bit more cheaper. And also depending on the size, I'll work out the size that it needs. And it's little square photos. I'm thinking of putting black and white ones of like me, Tom and Barney in, because it's kind of like dog, area i think that would look really nice so i'm gonna keep that wall bare for now but apart from that this is the finished result dark and gloomy i'm actually really loving it i feel like a thunderstorm is brewing we are forecast one later so <sighs> by the time it's movie night tonight i'm hoping that the thunder has started because it's so cozy when it thunders outside so i'm going to do the bathroom i'm not going to switch out too much in the bathroom i just brought up a couple of bits i'm thinking my bath tray i could maybe make a bit more seasonal so i bring up a pumpkin candle this one is actually from last year's button up pumpkin and then i thought i would pop one of these in i love put, popping these in the bathroom this is the orange and cinnamon one and then again on the bath tray maybe just to add a couple of little pumpkins i've got these two this ceramic one i think this was oh this was from um inspirations wholesalers if you saw my vlog when i went to i did like a whole wholesalers shopping day where i went to costco inspirations they had all the autumn bits out so i did pick up that so yeah let's see what this looks like i have also recently added these prints in here they're not exactly autumn but they are kind of a little bit with the whole harvest theme to them i feel like i need to put the light on it's honestly so dark outside you can see all the scaffolding poles outside we actually need to get blinds for this window but anyway let's crack on and pop out some autumn bits Bye. 
So I think I'm going to just leave it like this, not too much, just a nice little touch of autumn on my bath tray and also the scents in the room with the reed diffuser and the air freshener. But how cute is this little trio together on my bath tray? I love it. So again, for our bedroom, I want to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to change the throw on the bed and the cushion, that bolster cushion, I'm just gonna pop on, in fact, I'll put the, this set on our spare bed for now. And I've got a darker one and some like linen cushion, so I'm gonna switch them out. Down in this kind of throw basket, I've got these lanterns, which I might put a pumpkin there somewhere, I don't know, let's play around and see what we come up with. And there we have it, our few little autumn touches in our bedroom. Cause I just can't let go And there's no one to play It's just the way it is Like stone Emotionless in this world of stone How cozy does this look? So this is our like cinema room. Obviously we've still got the curtains to put up, which I do have the curtain poles just kind of tucked away over there. But yeah, this is how it is looking. I've just kind of freshened up the bean bags. I've popped on the pumpkin throw on my bean bag. That is my one. We have our designated bean bags that we tend to be drawn to. So I tend to sit here and Tom sits here. In Barney's bed, I've just put a fresh throw on with this snuggle season cushion, which just ties in with that orange as well. And then I've just popped the kind of log basket with the throws and cushions in. The middle for now, I, it kind of looks out of place there to be honest with you, but I do want to keep it in here. I did think about tucking it away over there, but it just looked a bit, I don't know, squished in. So left it there for now. I do love it, it's beautiful. So I'm more than happy to look at it and have it on display. And then this little nook over here obviously has our olive tree. I was thinking about putting some fairy lights in here maybe, either within the branches or maybe even along the bottom part, just to, pop those on in an evening whilst we are down here watching a movie and just make it all cozy but I'm yet to decide whether or not to do that. Let me know what you think on that. And then this is our woven pumpkin which again I could pop some fairy lights in. Kind of hoping Barney doesn't think that's a stick and <laughs> tries to chew it but we'll soon find out. And then my little snack station over here that I've created. I've just popped this woven pumpkin from Next and it's kind of like a... Um, a little basket. So in here I've got the popcorn, the uh, Starbucks biscuit and the Reese's. And then I was thinking about popping on here the uh, glass pumpkin as well, which I still might do, but I just wanna get some seasonal treats to put in it. So I could pop that there, cause it's glass and obviously you can see 
in it i was thinking maybe like reese's little mini reese's that are in their wrappers so yeah for now i'm just gonna leave it like this then i've got our coasters from next and a little heritage pumpkin candle again love the illustration on that i just think it's so simple farmhouse style and yeah smells lovely too i'm sure we'll burn through that in literally one evening so as soon as that's burnt through i'll switch it out with a different um candle but yeah that's on our little butler's tray which we got from aldi i think it was like 5.99 super cheap Okay, now heading into my filming room. I've just had a bit of a clear and tidy up, so there's not much in here really. It's quite sparse, which honestly makes me so happy, and I like to keep it this way. I don't need too much clutter in here because, like I said, it is a filming space. I need the flexibility to move stuff around. So my plan is to maybe switch out some um, for more like kind of autumnal leaves, although these are really nice, so if the other ones don't work, then I will keep those because they are really nice nonetheless but yeah I've got some other leaves that I might pop in there um I was thinking about switching that uh contorted hazel out but actually I really like that I feel like it's still got an autumn -y kind of vibe to it with the like twisted twig look so again just a couple of decorations I might add to this dresser otherwise keeping it plain and simple I've got my fireside oil in this espar diffuser which smells amazing and so perfect for this time of the year then on my windowsill i have my fireside reed diffuser so i'm just going to switch out the reeds like tw twist them i tend to twist them every couple of weeks um just to keep them smelling nice and fresh and then i've also got the fireside room spray just to keep refreshing the scent in here and it smells honestly so good i'm definitely going to get another one of these i've been using it really sparingly because i don't want it to run out but now that fireside is back in stock i'm going to pick up and use this more often if you've not tried fireside before these are the notes smoked wood birch and amber and honestly one of my faves Sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete We watched all of them together Until we couldn't go to sleep Wish it lasted forever But it failed And here we have the finished filming room. So I'll just talk you through briefly what I have changed. Not too much, nice and simple in here and just warmed it up a little bit. Starting with my urn, this is from Robinson Interiors if you're interested. I decided to just add the warm burnt orange foliage within the eucalyptus just because I felt like it was too short by itself. And then I've just got my um, 
hurricane there with my green Neptune pillar candle in. I quite like the green and the orange together actually. And then on my kind of backdrop dressing table type setup that I've got here, I've decided to just again warm things up a bit and just keep the black with just that middle vase. To the left I've got a little linen pumpkin. Again, I love textures, especially in bedrooms and this is kind of like a dressing room, filming room. So to have that linen pumpkin, I think works nice. I also think by removing the black tray as well, it's a little less harsh and I've just kept it as a little trio so it's not too cluttered. And then on the other side, I have lit this candle. Again, just warming things up a bit with the gold and the antique book on top. I love this book anyway, but the whole premise of still, the slow home, it's just very calming, very zen and I love that. So I've added this antique book, I just got this from a charity shop, bit of layering there and that is the end result for my filming room. You don't let your feelings haunt you, you don't ever get nervous do you? the right cards in your hands I'm breathing just to feel my body You're screaming just to say you're sorry So I'm all freshly washed, PJs on, and gonna get cozy, get comfy, feed this one. I've just walked in, so I've got back, had a shower, and I thought I would make myself some dinner. I remember getting this last year from Sainsbury's, and they've got it back, which I'm so happy because it is absolutely delicious. If you like truffle, you're going to love this. And it's just such a nice, easy dinner, isn't it? Especially when you're eating for one, seeing as though Tom is at cricket today. I thought I would treat myself. So yeah, I'm gonna have this. I take it down to the cinema room. We're gonna go through my Pinterest list of autumn movies and um, see what's on. I'm actually tempted to start Virgin River because loads of you have recommended to watch that and apparently it's kind of, cozy and wholesome so i doubt it's one that tom will like so soon as though he's out tonight i think i might start that have my dinner with this and then i'm also going to treat myself to a nice warm cozy three cinnamon tea from pucker with some maple and pecan dark chocolate digestives how nice does that sound i'm certainly ready for this after a long day of organizing and uh decorating yeah PJs are welcome, Virgin River, dinner and dessert. What an evening. Friends 
will come, friends will go. They all seem to change while I'm still the same. Cause I just can't let go. And there's no one to blame. It's just the way it is. Like stars. In this world of stories, oh, like stars.